Chapter 696, Great Desolate Tablet There was an extremely large mountain deep within Desolate Hall. The mountain was withered yellow in color and there was not the slightest greenery on top. From a far distance away, it looked like a barren land filled with a desolate aura. In the sky above this mountain peak, an enormous pill river whistled past. At this moment, this pill river, which would usually not stop flowing, revealed a strange phenomenon. Not only did the whistling speed slowed down, but an incomparably vast and mighty nirvana chi was continuously pouring down from the pill river. That manner was as though a huge hole had been formed in the pill river. Nirvana chi whizzed down like flood water before it finally poured onto the large mountain top. Buzz buzz. That mountain actually began to tremble when the pill river poured down. Rock fragments continued to fall and numerous large crack lines began to form on the mountain. Swoosh swoosh. When this drastic change occurred on the mountain top, countless rushing wind sounds were also emitted from the sky all around. After a couple of minutes, the surrounding sky, large trees and mountain were immediately occupied by a densely packed sea of people. The originally quiet mountain forest turned incomparably lively at this moment. Various noises gathered together and spread in a deafening manner. Even the clouds in the sky were scattered. These people not only consisted of the disciples from Desolate Hall. Even the disciples from the three other halls had all rushed over. This was because they were clearly aware that what was going to happen next could perhaps alter the ranking of the four halls. Other than the hall competition, it was extremely rare to see the disciples from all four halls gathering together. Even when the disciples from Sky Hall learned the Sky Emperor scripture, it did not cause such a commotion. From this, one could tell the degree of respect the Great Desolation Scripture had in the hearts of the Deo Sex Disciples. Swoosh! Numerous rays of light rushed over from the distant sky. Finally, when they were about to reach this mountaintop that had undergone a drastic change, they revealed themselves. The two of them in front were Chen Zhen and Wu Dao. There were six people following behind them. All six of them were quite old. Their auras were all powerful and mighty and were not the least bit weaker than Chen Zhen. Amongst the six, three of them were not strangers. They were the deputy hall chiefs of the three other halls whom Lin Dong had met when he first entered Dao sect. Clearly, the remaining three, who had even more powerful auras than them, were naturally the chief of the three other halls. This time around, the opening of the Great Desolate Tablet had actually attracted all the three other hall chiefs over. Even the chief of sky, earth, and flood halls have come. Zhang Hao, one of the senior direct disciples of the desolate hall, stood in the midair and looked at the few figures in front. He involuntarily smacked his mouth and laughed. What is there to be surprised about? Other than these hall chiefs, I believe that perhaps even some extremely senior elders are observing this place secretly. Studying the great desolation scripture is a major event for our Dao sect. Peng Tong said. If we can successfully comprehend the Great Desolation Scripture this time around, our desolate hall will likely be able to improve its ranking in the upcoming hall competition. Fang Yun stared at the shaking mountain and was ready to get into the action. Peng Tong turned silent when he heard this and he did not utter even a single word. Being the most experienced senior direct disciple in desolate hall, he clearly understood the difficulty of comprehending the Great Desolation Scripture. In the past hundred years, everyone was left disappointed after the Great Desolate Tablet opened up. Who knows if today will be the exception. Hey, where is that fellow, Lin Dong? If he ends up missing such a major event, would he not end up knocking himself to death from regret? Fang Yun's eyes swept around before asking in a surprised manner. He went to meet the sect master half a month ago. They brought back the immortal Yuan ancient seed and performed a deed of great merit. The sect master should have given him a reward. However, you can be rest assured that given his character, it is impossible for him to miss this chance to study the great desolate scripture. Peng Tong said. That fellow Lin Dong. I heard that he even wounded Yao Ling, who was ranked fourth on the sect's wanted list. What an abnormal fellow, Zhang Hao laughed bitterly. 
Junior Lindong is also a disciple of our desolate hall. The stronger he becomes, the better it is for our desolate hall. You should not feel unhappy just because you lost to him. Pang Tong knitted his brows and lectured. Being the most experienced senior direct disciple, his prestige in the desolate hall was clearly quite high. How is that possible? I am not such a petty person. If he can comprehend the great desolation scripture this time around, I will be happy as well. Otherwise, our desolate hall will end up losing face again during the upcoming hall competition. Zhang Hao spoke helplessly. Pang Tong nodded with satisfaction when he heard this. He was just about to speak when a great number of rushing wind sound were suddenly transmitted from a distance away. After which, dozens of figures rushed over and landed a short distance away from them. The surrounding Dao Sex disciples immediately erupted into an uproar when this group appeared. Those many gazes that shot over also became a lot more respectful. That is big senior sister Xiao Xiao and her group. There is also senior Ching Ye from Earth Hall and senior Mu Li from Flood Hall. Tisk tisk, it is rumored that the three of them have all comprehended the mysterious scriptures of their respective halls. They can be considered as the most outstanding trio amongst the Dao sect younger generation members. That's right. It is especially the case for big senior sister Xiao Xiao. It is rumored that she has reached Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. Along with the strength of the Sky Emperor scripture, it is likely that she would be hard-pressed to find a worthy opponent unless one is an expert who has stepped into the mysterious life stage. You have forgotten about Lin Dong from Desolate Hall. Previously, he fought with Yao Ling, a former deacon of Yuan Gate and even managed to injure him. That Yao Ling is an expert who had stepped into the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage a long time ago. Yes, I have also heard about this. If this is true, that Lin Dong is simply too perverse. Coincidentally, he is also a disciple of Desolate Hall. This time around, he should also possess the qualifications to study the Great Desolation Scripture. I wonder if he will succeed. No one knows. Although his performance has been extremely stellar ever since he joined Dao Sect, the Great Desolation Scripture is something that even big senior sister Xiao Xiao was unable to learn. This group of human figures that broke through the air and arrived was naturally Ying Xiao Xiao, Ying Huan Huan, and the rest. Following beside them were Qing Ye from Earth Hall, Mu Li from the Flood Hall and some other extremely famous senior direct disciples from the other three halls. This lineup was considered to be the most magnificent one amongst the current younger generation members in Dao sect. Therefore, all the gazes in the mountains gathered towards them when they appeared. Ying Xiao Xiao and Ying Huan Huan, who were standing in front, were naturally the focal point of all their attention. However, comparatively speaking, most of the gazes from the younger disciples were gathered on the young lady with a black ponytail, who appeared extremely pure and lively. This did not mean that Ying Xiao Xiao lacked charm. However, her prestige amongst the younger disciples was simply too high. Furthermore, her usual cool demeanor also caused some disciples to treat her with exceptional respect. Hence, they naturally did not dare to look at her in the same way as they looked at Ying Huan Huan. Although Ying Huan Huan was merely wearing a simple white blouse and pants today, her figure appeared exceptionally lithe and delicate. Her clothes outlined a figure that was filled with liveliness and attracted a great attention. Together with her ponytail that jumped gently when she turned her head and the gentle blink of her bright charming large eyes, her appearance was so innocent that it was a complete mess. Ying Huan Huan's large eyes scanned her surroundings. However, she did not find that familiar figure. Her eyebrows were bunched up as she said, that fellow Lin Dong is actually not around? Is he going to give this opportunity a miss? It is not strange for him to do so. Although Junior Lin Dong brother is extremely talented, he has merely just joined Desolate Hall. Standing beside her, Ching Ye laughed faintly. The reason that fellow joined Desolate Hall is because he is after the Great Desolation Scripture. How is it possible for him to give up on this opportunity? Moreover, he is already a senior direct disciple of Desolate Hall and he possesses the qualifications to study the Great Desolation Scripture. Ying Huan Huan rolled her eyes at Ching Ye and said. 
Ching Ye felt extremely displeased in his heart when he saw Ying Huan Huan talking about Lin Dong as if she was extremely familiar with him. However, he did not reveal anything as he did not want to be seen as a petty person. Immediately, he could only turn his head in a somewhat unnatural manner and softly speak to someone else besides him. Ying Xiao Xiao quietly shook her head when she saw this scene but did not say anything else. She merely threw her gaze towards the shaking mountain. Following the spread of the crack line, a grayish-yellow colored gigantic tablet was slowly breaking out of the mountain at that spot. A desolate aura that originated from the ancient times quietly fluctuated within this place. Ying Xiaoxio's eyes were somewhat complicated as she watched the mountain. Her character was quite haughty. Back then, she arrogantly tried to learn the Great Desolation Scripture. However, she ultimately failed after sitting there for months. This caused her to suffer quite a heavy blow. Great Desolate Tablet Every pair of eyes in this place turned towards the enormous 10,000 feet large tablet that had broken out of the mountain. That large tablet was just like a mountain that was towering above the mountain peak. Its towering and majestic manner caused it to look just like a divine artifact from the ancient times. Elder sister, do you think that anyone from Desolate Hall will succeed this time around? Ying Huan Huan's large eyes were a little shaken as she looked at that enormous object that had broken out from the mountain. After which, she tugged Ying Xiao Xiao wrist and softly asked. Zhang Hao and the other three hardly stand a chance. Ying Xiao Xiao glanced at Ying Huan Huan. She paused for a moment before she continued, if it is Lin Dong, he may stand a decent chance. Oh, Ying Huan Huan nodded quietly. Her long eyelashes blinked gently. The expression on her small face was a little complicated. Why? Ying Xiao Xiao asked uncertainly. If that fellow really comprehends it, wouldn't that meant that I will have to do whatever he says? Ying Huan Huan hesitated for a moment before she spoke haltingly with a reddened face. Even Ying Xiao Xiao felt neither able to laugh nor cry when she heard these words. She glared at Ying Huan Huan. You deserve it. Rumble. The mountain, which was shaking violently, finally came to a gradual stop. Everyone raised their heads and looked at the top of the mountain, where an enormous stone tablet, whose top had almost touched the Pill River, had appeared. All of them were as tiny as ants before that stone tablet. This was the Great Desolate Tablet. The most powerful scripture of the four great mysterious scriptures, the Great Desolation Scripture, was hidden within. However, since a hundred years ago, the question on whether anyone could understand it has been left unanswered. Chapter 697, Ripple The collapse of the mountain finally slowly came to a stop at this moment. A thousand feet tall stone tablet now stood atop the mountain peak. The ancient yellowish hue on the tablet was due to centuries of sedimentation. An unusual and ancient ripple was emitted from the stone tablet causing a desolate aura to fill the area. A desolate aura enveloped the land. It was as though the color of the sky had turned yellowish. In that moment, many felt as though they had been shuttled to an ancient land. Everyone's expression grew solemn as the desolate aura pervaded the air, while the commotion slowly died down. Numerous intensely interested and respectful pairs of eyes stared at the enormous stone. It has finally opened again. Wu Dao looked at the incomparably large stone tablet. Emotion flashed across his eyes as he muttered. Ever since our Dao sect discovered this stone tablet back then, we decided to establish our sect in this place. The desolate hall was also born as a result. Thousands of years have passed. However, only a rare few individuals have managed to comprehend the great desolation scripture, Chen Zhen softly sighed. Old fellow you really speak unceremoniously. The Great Desolation Scripture is no ordinary martial arts. If it were so easy for an ordinary disciple to successfully learn it, the strength of our Dao sect would likely have long since exceeded the Yuan Gate. A burly middle-aged man standing beside Chen Zhen laughed and chided. This person was wearing black robes, and his demeanor was quite extraordinary. Both of his eyes swept around like hidden lightning causing even space itself to become slightly distorted. 
he was the current master of the Sky Hall, Qi Lei. Chen Zhen also smiled when he heard this. After which, he glanced at the sky and said, It is about time. It seems that Lin Dong has yet to arrive. Wu Hao's eyes swept around before speaking with a frown. Relax, how is it possible for that little fellow to miss such an event? Chen Zhen smiled as he shook his head. He turned around and looked at Zhang Hao and the three other senior direct disciples of the desolate hall. With a deep voice, he said, All of you should prepare yourselves. Remember, don't force yourselves. This martial art relies on one's luck and affinity and it cannot be forced. Understood. Zhang Hao and the other three replied respectfully, while excitement colored their faces. After which, they exchanged a knowing glance as their bodies rushed out, before landing in front of the stone tablet at the mountaintop, under the countless gazes from the surrounding mountains. There were a couple of green rocks protruding from the cliff at that spot. The green rocks were as smooth as mirrors. They sat on them and raised their heads to gaze upon the thousand feet tall tablet. At this moment, the feeling of being an ant suddenly arose in their hearts. Zhang Hao and the other three had grave expressions as they sat on the green rocks. Although they hid it well, there was still a trace of panic deep within their eyes. It was due to the enormous pressure that the enormous stone tablet gave. After Zhang Hao landed in front of the stone tablet, some noise once again arose from the surrounding area. Soon after, some people seemed to have discovered that something was missing. Immediately, their eyes began to sweep all over the mountains in an attempt to find that figure. That fellow is really a big shot. Everyone is always waiting for him. Ying Huan Huan naturally understood who these people were looking for. Lin Dong might have just joined the Dao sect but his reputation had soared rapidly. Not only did he obtain an impressive result at the bottom of the Pill River, which had surpassed even Senior Zhou Tong, but he had even successfully learnt the desolate demon eye that Senior Zhou Tong was unable to learn. Furthermore, he was also chiefly responsible for bringing back the immortal Yuan Ancient Seed. These various achievements were sufficient to allow Lin Dong to become a dazzling new star within the Dao sect. This time around, everyone undoubtedly believed that he was the one who had the highest chances of understanding the Great Desolation Scripture. His previous achievements are simply far too outstanding, Ying Xiao Xiao softly said. Oh! Ying Huan Huan was startled when she heard this. Her big eyes suspiciously watched Ying Xiao Xiao. Clearly, she did not quite understand the meaning behind her words. Lin Dong is quite a prideful person. This was something that one could see ever since he joined the desolate hall. He was using Senior Zhou Tong as a benchmark. Ying Xiaoxio's eyes looked at the enormous stone tablet before she slowly said, As a fellow disciple of the desolate hall, he is unwilling to see his path being overshadowed by that figure. Therefore, he wants to surpass Senior Zhou Tong. His potential can be ranked amongst the top three within the current Dao sect. It is likely that his future achievements will be quite substantial. However, the monstrosity of genius senior Zhou Tong is sufficient to cause many geniuses to feel inferior. Using him as a benchmark is not a good idea. Should he fail, he would likely find it difficult to overcome that shadow. There are some people who will not be hurt even if they fall. Ying Xiao Xiao laughed bitterly when she spoke until this point. She softly said, Lin Dong is aiming too high. I'm afraid that should he meet a setback, he will end up suffering quite a big blow. When Ying Huan Huan heard Ying Xiao Xiao words, her brows slightly knitted together, before she spoke, Elder Sister is worried that Lin Dong will not recover from should he fail to comprehend the Great Desolation Scripture. It would not be to the extent of not recovering from this setback. What he has been through, perhaps far exceeds what I have experienced. However, I'm afraid that this setback will affect his resilience. After all, it has been a smooth sailing trip for him on this journey of challenging Senior Zhou Tong. Ying Xiao Xiao shook her head and said, However, the ones before were merely small tests. The current one, is the true Gordian knot. Ying Huan Huan's bright eyes blinked gently. She thought for a moment before raising her small face. Sunlight shone onto her exquisite face, 
and she hesitated for a while longer before speaking, Elder Sister, although I do not know what Lin Dong has experienced, I think that Elder Sister has underestimated that fellow's resilience. Moreover, I have never seen that fellow fear anything. Even when he stayed behind alone to block Yao Ling and the Devil Seal Mass, I did not see any fear in his eyes. Moreover, I think that even though Senior Zhou Tong enjoys a reputation that is greater than father within the hearts of our Dao sect disciples, it is likely that Lin Dong does not feel too much respect. He only views Senior Zhou Tong as someone whom he will surpass on his journey. The sunlight from the sky was sprinkled down while she spoke, shining on the pure and exquisite small face of the young lady. A light arc extended along her white chin, causing her to appear extremely beautiful. The young lady at this moment also appeared to have recalled what Lin Dong had told her in the mountain crevice. She was simply unable to imagine how Lin Dong had already understood how to hide his hatred like a snake in the abyss and quietly evolve, when he was merely just a boy, who was even younger than she currently was. After enduring for so many years, he ultimately relied on his own strength to kill his enemy, who had once been able to easily destroy his small family. Ying Huan Huan was truly unable to imagine how someone like that who possessed such frightening resilience, would end up being unable to recover from this so-called failure. Ying Xiao Xiao was also stunned by Ying Huan Huan's words. She immediately turned her head and stared at the young lady beside her. A moment later, the corners of her mouth lifted into a half-smile. From the looks of it, you seem to think very highly of him. I am merely speaking the truth. Elder sister, you should not speak nonsense. Ying Huan Huan's face turned red as she mumbled. Ying Xiao Xiao declined to comment. She continued, since you think so highly of him, let's see what happens. This time around, he faces quite a huge amount of pressure. Should he fail to understand the scripture, it would be unavoidable for there to be some gossip. Whether he can avoid it will depend entirely on his ability. Ying Xiaoxio's eyes suddenly moved after her voice sounded. She turned towards the distant sky and smiled, he has arrived. Swoosh. Just after Ying Xiaoxio's voice sounded, a hurried rushing wind sound was suddenly heard in the distance. Immediately, the gazes on the mountain swiftly turned towards that direction. The atmosphere also turned fiery hot. Lin Dong has finally arrived. I was under the impression that he had given up. Ha, I wonder if he is able to comprehend the great desolation scripture. His previous achievements are merely child's play when compared to senior Zhou Tong. The current one will truly test his ability. That's right. Numerous private conversations spread like waves amongst the human sea. The rushing wind sound became increasingly loud while the voices spread. A few seconds later, a figure dashed through the air and appeared in the sky. My two teacher uncles, this disciple is late. When Lin Dong appeared in the sky, he was initially a little stunned by the densely packed sea of people in the mountains. Only after that did he raise his head and looked at Chen Zhen and Wu Dao. His voice contained an apologetic tone. M.M., it is fine since you made it here. Chen Zhen smilingly nodded. His eyes contained a glint as they swept over Lin Dong, before they suddenly focused. With his eyes, he was naturally able to tell that Lin Dong's strength had advanced quite greatly during the past half a month. You. Chen Zhen exchanged glances with Wu Dao. They could see joy and surprise in each other's eyes. Since you have arrived, you should head over. Remember do not force it. Although the Great Desolation Scripture is powerful, the most important thing is still oneself. Wu Dao waved his hand and laughed. This disciple will remember your advice. Lin Dong grinned and nodded. After which, he turned his head to look at the incomparably large desolate tablet. He inhaled a deep breath of air and suppressed the surging excitement within his heart. Ever since he had joined the Dao sect, the thing that he coveted the most was naturally the great desolation scripture the strongest of the Dao sect's four great mysterious scriptures. This opportunity had finally arrived. Lin Dong focused on the great desolate tablet, while his body moved and floated out. In the end, it slowly landed on a green rock. 
Lin Dong finally sensed the vast and mighty desolate Qi when he stood in front of the great desolate tablet. When he stood at this place, it was as though he had returned to the vast ancient land of the past. Buzz! While Lin Dong immersed himself within this grand vastness, a slight ripple suddenly scattered from within his body. Immediately, his pupils abruptly shrunk. Chapter 698, Desolate That ripple was minute and was extremely sudden. However since the ripple had originated from within Lin Dong's body, he was instantly able to detect it. This also caused his pupils to show signs of tightly contracting. It was because this ripple was emitted by the mysterious stone talisman. Furthermore, this ripple was somewhat strange. To be precise, it was a clearly and obvious response to something. This was the first time something like this had ever occurred since the mysterious stone talisman had come into Lin Dong's possession. Why does the mysterious stone talisman respond to the great desolate tablet? Lin Dong frowned as he muttered to himself. He lifted his gaze and let it rest on the vast and majestic tablet. The surface of the tablet had gradually turned yellowish due to the passage of time. Furthermore, the surface was not completely bright and clean, and there were quite a few potholes, while a few minute cracks spread out on its surface like an insect. However this was not a big problem for the gigantic tablet. Lin Dong's gaze carefully swept past every inch the stone tablet. After several minutes, his eyes suddenly focused as he looked towards a particular spot on the stone tablet. On the rough surface of the stone tablet were some faint small black dots that was extremely hard to be discovered by eye. When Lin Dong's eyes landed on those black dots, he suddenly felt the mysterious stone talisman within him started to shake as it emitted wave after wave of fluctuation. A glint of bewilderment flashed within deep within Lin Dong's eyes as his gaze swept all around. He discovered that the number of small black dots on the surface of the stone tablet was not small. However due to the, the enormous size of the stone tablet, coupled with the passing of time, leaving another six small black dots seemed to be nothing but ordinary. If not for the mysterious stone talisman within his body, even Lin Dong would have ignored these little black dots that seemed totally ordinary. Lin Dong stared at the little black dots and hesitated for a moment. Finally, he took a step forward, raised a finger and touched one of the little black dots. Lin Dong, Zhang Hao and the other three were extremely close to the stone tablet. Previously, Zhang Hao and the rest were paying extreme attention as they stared at the stone tablet and had also reached out and touched the surface with their hands. Therefore, the people around were not too surprised at Lin Dong's action. And just as the surrounding gazes moved away from him, Lin Dong's finger lightly descended on the little black dot on the surface of the tablet. At the moment of contact, Lin Dong's complexion rapidly changed. At the point of contact, a trace of fluctuation was transmitted into Lin Dong's body. That fluctuation was ice cold without any hint of vitality. Gradually, it brought along a mysterious evil influence that could seemingly erase the myriad of living organisms from the world. Lin Dong's finger had only brushed past the little black dot for an instant before drawing back. After pulling his finger back, his face whitened as he stared in shock at the little black dots. That fluctuation was extremely bone-chilling and mysterious without any trace of vitality within it. Although Lin Dong knew that when one managed to train till the mysterious death stage, one's body would be produced extremely destructive death qi, the sensation from those black dots were inherently different. Furthermore the most important matter was that this was not the first time that Lin Dong had seen such a sinister and evil thing. This kind of bone-chillingly evil feeling would blot the skies. And every living thing within the world would seemingly be killed and destroyed wherever it passed. Lin Dong pursed his lips and thought about his time in the ancient sect. The previous owner of the devouring ancestral symbol had seemingly perished due to some unknown sinister and dark thing. Lin Dong had felt the same kind of fluctuation from the surface of the great desolate tablet today. What did this mean? What exactly is this thing? Lin Dong muttered to himself in a low voice. Even something as strong as that ancient sect or someone as strong as that black-eyed old man who had the devouring ancestral symbol had difficulty in resisting that unknown black thing. What exacting was it? 
While Lin Dong was pondering about this before the, the stone tablet, Zhang Hao and the other three had already prepared to proceed on as they sat on a green rocks in from the, the stone tablet with solemn expressions. Lin Dong Wu Dao gave a shout, which finally managed to wake Lin Dong from his absent-minded state. After taking a deep look at the stone tablet in front of him, he retreated to the green rock and proceeded to sit down. Upon seeing the five take their seats, Wu Dao gave a faint nod before waving his sleeve. Desolate force that blotted the sky surged out of his body before turning into a beam and descending onto the surface of the great desolate tablet. Buzz buzz! Following the descent of the gigantic beam of desolate force, the tablet immediately started to send out minute vibrations. Ray after ray of dusky yellow light started to shoot out from the body of the tablet, before completely enveloping Lin Dong and the other four. The instant Lin Dong was enveloped by the light, his body suddenly trembled as he felt an irresistible attractive force erupting from the surface of the tablet. In the next instant, his consciousness started to grow blurry as his vision rapidly turned to darkness. Innumerable gazes gathered on the five human figures that are enveloped by pillars of light. From the looks of it, it seemed that the process towards the comprehension of the great desolate tablet had already begun. Big Sis, what exactly will one encounter when comprehending the great desolation scripture? Yin Huan Huan was wide-eyed as she gazed at the five unmoving figures within the pillars of light. She could not help but ask Ying Huan Huan as she seemed to be the only one here who had experienced it. After her question appeared, Ching Ye and the rest turned their heads and stared at Ying Xiao Xiao. It was obvious that they were interested in this question. Ying Xiao Xiao frowned a little. She looked absent-mindedly at the gigantic stone tablet, before replying in a soft voice, The great desolate tablet is extremely powerful. Yes, I know. Our Dao sect elders had combined their efforts many times but were unable to move the great desolate tablet or control when it opens. They can only assist it with the power of the Pill River every once in a while. Ying Huan Huan continuously nodded her head in agreement. When comprehending the Great Desolate Tablet, one would be sucked into the space within the tablet, and there is a boundless and desolate land. It has no end and no signs of life, only desolation, let alone any inkling of the Great Desolation scripture. It should be some type of test right? Did senior sister Xiao Xiao manage to understand anything? Ching Ye asked thoughtfully. Ying Xiao Xiao shot a look at him. This made Ching Ye understand as he resentfully laughed for a while. If Ying Xiao Xiao had managed to pass, she would not have failed in the comprehension. After I entered, I did not walk at all and just sat there for a very long time replied Ying Xiao Xiao in a soft voice. Coping with ever-changing chaos by being as steady as a rock praised Mu Li from the flood hall. He was not trying to flatter anyone. Compared to walking around in confusion and wasting energy, it would be much better to calm one's heart and start to ponder on how to overcome such a trial. However it was regretful that I was still unable to overcome that trial. Perhaps I'm unable to comprehend the true essence of desolation, exclaimed Ying Xiao Xiao with a voice brimming with regret. If it were so easy to overcome it, the great desolate tablet would not have attracted that much attention. Mu Li gave a smile before turning his gaze towards the five figures in front of the stone tablet and said, I wonder if the five of them will be able attain anything this time. I'm also looking forward to it. Ying Xiao Xiao said while slowly nodding her head. Her eyes shifted slightly as she shot an extra glance at the youthful figure on the furthest left, Lin Dong. What is this damned place? The sky was filled with a dusky grey colour without any cracks. It was as if poison had yet to completely separate from the sky when this space was born. Under the dusky skies was a boundless and desolate land as far as one's eyes could see. The ground was present in a dusky yellow colour with an occasional appearance of dried grass. However there was no life here. Just a few cracks that spread out on the ground and extended past one's line of sight into the distance. Currently, there was a human figure on the boundless land without any ends looking helplessly at this scene as he sighed at the heavens. The human figure was naturally the Lin Dong that had entered the great desolate tablet. He stared at this seemingly ancient and endless land with a unconcealable bitter smile on his face. 
This should be the Great Desolate Tablets trial. Lin Dong raised his head as he scanned his surroundings. After a single look, he saw that the extreme limits of his sight was still the same repetitive desolate land. His tiny and insignificant body stood up in this boundless land. This kind of desolation could seemingly turn people into soil to be buried here forever. It made one feel as if one was unable to breath. Who? Lin Dong exhaled a deeply as his eyes gradually hardened. Since he had already arrived, he should see exactly what the great desolate tablet wanted to do. Let's go. Lin Dong said while grinning. This was his choice, which was completely different from Ying Xioxio's. He did not like the idea of painfully sitting down quietly. Even if it might be possible that he was only wasting energy, he wanted to personally give it a try. The young man trekked forward on this boundless land. The look in his eyes made was one that wanted to crack open the desolation within this stretch land. However, maybe even Ling Dong himself was unable to imagine that this walk of his would last for an entire month. Chapter 699, You Are Sick Shat A pair of feet wearily trudged on the dried, cracked, and dusky yellow ground. A few clouds of dust rose along with his movements, and it felt as if even the dust itself did not have the slightly bit of energy. Lin Dong raised his head and stared numbly at the unending barren land around him. His originally keen and acute gaze unexpectedly turned somewhat blank at this point in time. He had already been traveling for a month. After a month, all he saw was the same unending barren land. A dark and gloomy yellow seemed to bob up and down as it continuously reflected in his pupils. It seemed that even the color of his pupils was being changed due to this endless barren land. After walking for a month, Lin Dong's skin had already turned withered and tinged with yellow. His black hair had also dried up and turned yellow. If one were to see him from far, he would look just like a terminally ill person. Lin Dong licked his dry, rough, and pale lips, before stretching out his hands. His originally slender hands had turned abnormally rough. Soon after, he slowly clenched his fists. The abundant and vigorous they once held had already faded away. This barren land was absorbing his energy. Lin Dong could feel that as he was traveling across this domain, his energy was slowly fading bit by bit. He had previously attempted to quietly sit down in order to defend himself against this erosion. However, it was of no avail. Lin Dong knew that once his energy had completely dissipated, he would have failed the trial. As for the great desolation mysterious scripture, that was simply out of the question. As expected, this is not simple at all. Lin Dong murmured to himself while bitterly laughing. He looked down at a stalk of withered grass below his feet, which still had a withered flower attached to it. Bending down to pick it up, he touched it with his finger, causing the flower to transform into dust and scatter away with the wind. However, it would be too embarrassing to give up now. A somewhat ugly arc appeared from the corners of Lin Dong's mouth. After a while he spat out a mouthful of air before dragging his seemingly lead-filled feet as he continued his slow walk forward. Who? As Lin Dong continued to trudge on, at another spot in this endless barren land, stood a muscular and sturdy figure. Swaying to and fro, he finally collapsed powerlessly with a loud thud. His entire body had withered, however, no fresh blood flowed out. Specks of light emerged from within his body as his body continued to disappear. As the specks of light started to rise from between his eyes, an unwilling and deeply tired expression filled Zhang Hao's cracked face. On the surrounding ground were a few cracks. Obviously, these cracks were forcefully created by him. However, in this strange place, it was obvious that using force alone was not going to solve the problem. I've failed. Zhang Hao muttered to himself as his vision started to turn blurry. After a while, his body finally turned completely into specks of light and disappeared from this boundless barren land. Following his disappearance, the land turned even more deathly still, as a dark and gloomy atmosphere filled the area, as if the land had died. One month within the Great Desolate Tablet was equivalent to one month outside. 
Although one month had passed, the skies and forests surrounding the great desolate tablet were still filled with a large crowd of people. This crowd apparently did not disperse even as time passed. On the contrary, as time continued to pass, even more senior direct disciples arrived after hearing the news. Currently, the entire spectacle was quite majestic and vast. At this moment, Every pair of eyes from the surrounding mountains and forests were locked onto the five glowing pillars of light in front of the great desolate tablet. Within the five pillars of light sat five cross-legged figures. They were as still as monks in meditation. Hovering in the sky, Chen Zhen, Wu Dao, and the rest all had solemn expressions. During the past one month, they did not move as well and continued to observe the five as well as the great desolate tablet. Buzz. A faint buzzing noise suddenly rang out within the quiet mountain range. Immediately, everyone's attention turned to focus on one of the light pillars in front of the great desolate tablet. The pillar of light gradually dimmed. Zhang Hao has failed, said Ying Xiao Xiao in a low voice, while quietly clenching her slim and tender lily white hands after seeing this scene. Upon hearing her words, there were a slight change in Ying Huan Huan and Qing Yi's expressions. Only at this moment, did they finally realize the dreadfulness of the great desolate tablet. Under the attentive gazes of countless people, the pillar of light started to rapidly weaken before completely dissipating with a cracking sound. After losing the light pillar, Zhang Hao's body fell, back facing the ground, his face as white as sheet. Sigh. Chen Zhen gave a soft sigh before waving of his sleeve. A gentle wave of energy descended down towards Zhang Hao and supported him, before some desolate hall disciples rapidly came forward to help him. They were able to endure for one month. That is already quite decent, said Wu Dao after remaining silent for a while. Chen Zhen laughed bitterly, before nodding his head and saying softly, let's wait and see. As they were talking, Chen Zhen's eyes could not help but shoot a worried look at Lin Dong's body. With his shrewd and ruthless eyesight, he could tell that Lin Dong was not in good shape. However, at this moment, there was no way for anyone to help him. Within the great desolate tablet, one could only rely on oneself. Under the anticipation of innumerable people, time continued to pass quietly. Unknowingly, another half a month had passed. During this half month, Chen Zhen, Wu Dao, and the rest's expression had grown increasingly tense. From time to time, their actions revealed some impatience. It was obvious that their hearts were not tranquil and calm. That was because, Fang Yun and Song Zhou had also failed after Zhang Hao. Furthermore, most importantly, Pang Tong's light pillar, the disciple with the most experience in desolate hall, had started to dim. It was obvious that he was about to fail too. Within a short half a month, Four out of the five senior direct disciples in Desolate Hall had already failed miserably. Crack! The pillar of light around Pang Tong's body finally dissipated completely. A disciple was already prepared as he immediately rushed over and carefully supported his body. Looking at Pang Tong's deathly pale face, feelings of dread inevitably surfaced within his heart. The great desolate tablet was truly dreadful even the most talented desolate hall direct disciples had failed one after another. After Pang Tong was carried away, the originally peaceful and quiet atmosphere started to turn sad and depressive. It felt as if the air had solidified. Only Lin Dong is left, said Ying Xiao Xiao with a soft sigh. Ying Huan Huan gently nodded her head as she bit her red lips. Her fine and slender hands were already twisted together, causing a dark green color to appear on her originally semi-transparent jade-like skin. Two figures were standing at a mountain peak some distance away from the great desolate tablet. Both of their gazes shot through space and looked at the area where the vast crowd were waiting. Lin Dong doesn't seem to be in good shape, said the blue-robed old man who was standing beside Ying Suanzi. He might be able to endure five more days. Ying Suanzi said with a soft voice before giving a helpless sigh. Were they all going to fall again this time? After five days, it was still the same. On the fifth day, when the scorching sun was rising towards the center of the sky, a pale white color suddenly appeared on Chen Zhen, Wu Dao, and the rest's faces, 
while an uproar started to rapidly spread across the vast crowd. This was because the pillar of light enveloping Lindong had started to dim. From their previous experience, this was clearly an omen of impending failure. Ying Huan Huan's jade-like hands started to clench tightly, before she tightly gripped Ying Xiaoxio's wrists and her big eyes started to turn red. Although she was extremely confident in that fellow's resilience, she knew that this setback was not something that Lin Dong could easily disregard. She could already imagine his forced smile in the near future. Big Sis Ying Xiao Xiao looked at the young lady beside her, who could not bear to see Lin Dong fail, before she sighed and shook her head. This matter, perhaps this was how it would end. Under the regretful gazes of innumerable people, Lin Dong's pillar of light slowly started to grow dimmer. Bang! As an uproar was stirred in the outside world due to the weakening of the pillar of light. Lin Dong's body finally collapsed heavily onto the ground in the endless barren land. A painful sensation spread across his entire body. Right now, Lin Dong's skin was thoroughly cracked and he looked extremely hideous. Furthermore, the energy within his body had disappeared completely. There were even specks of light floating out of his body from time to time. Lin Dong's mouth was shaking as he fuzzily stared at a stalk of withered grass in front of him. He knew that he was already at the end of his limits and did not have the energy to continue walking forward. He stared at that stalk of withered grass for a while, before reaching out with his hand and inserting it into the withered and yellow ground. He proceeded to grab the whole withered plant including its roots. When the withered plant left the ground, Lin Dong stared at the roots that were hidden beneath the surface. Reaching his finger out to touch it, the entire plant and even its roots completely turned to dust and floated away. The dust floated and scattered in front of Lin Dong's face. His face turned gloomy with uncertainty as he stayed in this way for close to half an hour. The only thing he heard was his hoarse voice which rang across the silent domain. The desolate spirit shouldn't be like this. Lin Dong slowly raised his head and looked towards the grey and dusky sky. From its color, it was as if even the sky had died. Looking once again at this piece of land, although there were withered grass around, all of them were dead. However, desolation was not like this. After desolation, life would stay hidden, waiting for the time to bloom. After desolation, there would also be an abundance of life. However in this land, even the sky and earth were dead. Lin Dong lowered his head and suddenly extended his hands to dig the ground in front of him, causing dried dust and sand to fly into the air. Although he had hardly any strength left, by relying on sheer willpower, he was able to brandish his palms mechanically. Pop! Another lump of dull yellow dust was clawed up from the ground by Lin Dong. The dust scattered before his eyes. Yet, in that moment, his pupils had shrunk into the size of a needle as he scanned the dust. Within the dust, he had seen a floating black dot. This black dot gave him the same feeling as the black dot on the surface of the tablet. It felt mysterious and sinister and seemed capable of swallowing all life from the heavens and earth. Without even blinking, Lin Dong's gaze followed the black dot as it fell to the ground before disappearing. Immediately following its disappearance, Lin Dong turned as still as a statue, and he did not even move a single inch. Specks of light started to scatter from within Lin Dong's body. Half of his body had already turned to light and scattered away. However, as his body was scattering, a fierce glint suddenly reappeared in his blank and dead eyes. Huff! Taking in a deep breath of air, Lin Dong lifted his head and stared at the endless stretch of land. Although there was no one here, an extremely earnest expression appeared on his face. Soon after, a youthful voice consisting of a single chain of words started to ring out. Return my strength to me. Great desolate tablet, you are sick, you must be treated. Chapter 700, Breakthrough Upon the vast and seemingly endless wasteland, Lin Dong spoke in an earnest yet strange and flat voice, which slowly rang out and echoed across the area. However, when his voice faded, the area remained deathly quiet. Nothing out of the ordinary had happened. Yet, this scene did not cause Lin Dong to panic at all. His eyes were tightly fixed onto this spacious land, 
as if someone was here who could understand his words. As Lin Dong spoke, more and more specks of light emerged from within his body. Then his legs faded amongst the lights, followed by his waist, then his chest. The specks of light slowly spread outwards, but the sharpness within Lin Dong's pupils only grew fiercer and more powerful. You once gave Senior Zhou Tong and them a chance, why not try again? Lin Dong's voice gradually became calmer as he spoke faintly while continuing to stare at this lifeless land. The specks of light slowly spread, and started to go beyond Lin Dong's neck. Those things, they cause you a lot of pain, don't they? Lin Dong glanced slightly at the spreading light. His lips formed a mocking smile as he spoke. Buzz! The wriggling lights finally froze at this moment. Seeing this turn of events, the smile on his lips gradually widened. This time, he had finally won the bet. The great desolate tablet did indeed possess an intelligent consciousness. Unknowingly, a gentle breeze blew across the barren land, causing waves to emerge. These waves came from all directions, and finally converged with Lin Dong at their center. Chi Chi! Veins of light spread as Lin Dong's disappearing body started recovering at an unimaginable speed. Furthermore, as his body was recovering, his abundant energy also returned once again. Thanks. Lin Dong clenched his fist and smiled as he felt the return of his vigorous energy. He lifted his head and clasped his hands together towards the land as he laughed. Crack crack. As Lin Dong's voice faded, cracks started to appear on the barren land. The cracks formed a twisted pattern like a distorted image, while Lin Dong stood on the now crumbling land. However, even in the face of this rapid change, there were no signs of panic on Lin Dong's face. Instead, a faint trace of delight could be found deep within his eyes. I guess this can be considered a breakthrough. The land finally completely fell apart as darkness gushed over from all directions and drowned Lin Dong's body within it. While time briefly stood still, the atmosphere in the Dao sect mountain range had grown extremely explosive. A kind of explosiveness that could stem only from the lone figure in front of the great desolate tablet. At this moment, the light pillar that had shot down from the great desolate tablet and enveloped Lin Dong's body was shrinking at a slow but perceptible rate. Before this scene, unconcealable disappointment appeared on everyone's faces. If even Lin Dong failed, no other person would be able to comprehend the great desolation scripture of the desolate hall. If so, then who knew when the legendary great desolation scripture would ever get to see the light of day again? In the sky, a look of agony appeared on Chen Zhen and Wu Dao's faces. Although they understood that the Great Desolation Scripture was not easy to comprehend, it was still rather difficult for even the likes of them to accept the scene before their eyes. Sigh. Sky Hall Master Qi Lei patted Chen Zhen and Wu Dao's shoulders as if he wanted to say something. However, he could only sigh in the end, while the other Hall Masters helplessly shook their heads. The Great Desolation Scripture was truly the Dao Sex's biggest pain. With all the commotion stirring all around her, Ying Huan Huan also sighed softly. She lifted her head and looked at the exceptionally lonely and skinny young figure in front of the Great Desolate Tablet. She pursed her lips, and they turned downwards in a rather sad angle. Despite her lively personality, she could also be rather fierce. Furthermore, she had even made a bet with Lin Dong. Yet, a young girl was after all kind-hearted. She could already feel the despair and misery that Lin Dong would feel after this failure. Looks like I'll have to provoke him less from now on, the young girl's eyelashes gently blinked as she thought to herself. It ended in failure after all. On a mountain peak far away, a blue-robed old man similarly sighed and could not help but bitterly laugh as he cursed, this damned great desolate tablet. In any case, our sect has protected it for a thousand years. It's really not giving us any face. Its origins are too astonishing. It's not our place to even try and imagine what it experienced. It's normal for it not to feel indebted to us. Ying Suanzi smiled faintly. Seems like it's about time to end this great desolation scripture enlightenment event, the blue-robed old man replied helplessly. However, just as his voice faded, 
cries of surprise suddenly rang out from the great crowd in the distance. Upon hearing their cries, Ying Sunzi and the blue-robed old man were stunned. Immediately, they raised their slightly stunned gazes to peer into the distance as their eyes abruptly focused. This is, dumbfounded voices slowly escaped both their mouths. The cries spread across the land at an unimaginable speed. Ying Xiao Xiao, Ying Huan Huan, and the rest sensed the commotion and raised their eyes, focusing on the space before the great desolate tablet. The originally shrinking light pillar had practically shrunk to the size of a palm on Lin Dong's head. In such a situation, many would think that enlightenment had failed and come to an end. Yet, after waiting for a few minutes, someone suddenly realized that the palm-sized light pillar had not faded. The light pillar did not completely disappear this meant that the enlightenment was not considered over yet. What's going on? Ying Huan Huan said as she stared at the scene in disbelief. Ying Xioxio's eyebrows knitted together. Soon after, her face gradually turned solemn, and even her voice was a little shaky as she replied, I think this means that Lin Dong has not yet failed. Upon hearing this, Ching Ye and the rest were rather moved with emotion. Shock flickered deep within their eyes. Chen Zhen, Wu Dao, and the rest of the hall masters were likewise stunned by the scene. Immediately, a trace of wild joy surfaced within the Chen Zhen duo's eyes as if they were suddenly struck by a certain realization. Buzz buzz. The great desolate tablet suddenly started to tremble intensely as waves of light gathered together on the surface of the enormous tablet. Eventually, they transformed into a near-solid light pillar that shot out and enveloped Lin Dong's body. Whoa! As they watched the resplendently dazzling light pillar, everyone exploded into an uproar. Shock gushed up on the faces of many. Waves of light continued to gather on the great desolate tablet. In the end, the surface of the tablet became like a mirror. One could faintly see a blurry yet gigantic figure looming within it. When the giant figure appeared on the surface of the tablet, the pupils of Chen Zhen, Wu Dao, and other hall masters instantly tightened as their breathing became hurried. Soon after, they looked to each other and saw the deep shock in each other's eyes. Is that, the tablet spirit? Wu Dao asked with a coarse voice. It should be. When I was a mere disciple, I saw Senior Zhou Tong's great desolation scripture enlightenment, and this same figure appeared on the tablet. Qi Lei slowly replied. He suppressed his trembling heart and looked towards the Chen Zhen duo, Congratulations, your desolate hall may just rise up again this time. Chen Zhen and Wu Dao looked at each other and laughed heartily till tears started to flow. After a hundred years, their desolate hall had finally found a disciple that could comprehend the great desolation scripture. Darkness was everywhere. When Lin Dong finally opened his eyes, the darkness once again withdrew like flood waters. As the darkness left, a barren and rocky land appeared before Lin Dong. Not far ahead of him, what first caught Lin Dong's attention was an ancient yellow tablet that stood about ten feet tall. The tablet was similar to the great desolate tablet. However, some ancient runes could faintly be seen on its surface. As Lin Dong's gaze slowly swept downwards, his pupils abruptly shrank. He saw veins of black, shadowy lines emerging from the bottom of the tablet. These lines looked like the feelers of a demon, ice cold and wicked as they wiggled slowly while spreading on the tablet like some kind of virus. The undulations from these strange black lines were exactly the same as those tiny black dots. These things are the culprit right? Lin Dong softly said as he stared at the tablet. Buzz buzz. Just as Lin Dong's voice faded, faint ripples appeared on the tablet's surface, and soon after, a blurry figure emerged. It looked at Lin Dong, as a coarse voice, so ancient that it seemed to invade one's heart, rang out. There are indeed so many things in your body that feel familiar. At the sound of those words, the corners of Lin Dong's eyes started to twitch uncontrollably.